August 4th, 2020, a Chicago rap artist was gunned down in the fashion district in downtown Chicago. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I spit to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger in the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know what? Went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong, from wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong. Hey, what's up guys? JC with Wrong and Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss nothing, and leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't matter, just do something. If you are part of my Wrong and Strong crew, you already know. Somebody put some gas in that motherfucker and let's take the bourbon for a drive and let's go smash somebody. <laughs> That's just playing around. <laughs> we want no violence. In no matter or form do we condone violence. <laughs> What's up, guys, man? Sad, sad, sad time in the rap industry. You know, August 4th. Yes, it is the end of August. And I decided to make this video. Um, I really don't like to touch on things right away because I feel like it's, it's kind of like you have to you know give that respect you know whether you know the person or not when they're you know uh, pass away and stuff like that so you know I wanted to talk about FBG Duck's uh, assassination um, he was shot and killed right in downtown in an area that you know doesn't see that kind of, of life that kind of it, it just it doesn't happen it's a very very upscale neighborhood it's the fashion district all the big stores gucci everybody everybody that's uh big name is there and a lot of famous people that's where they shop that's where they go and they don't see that so for him to get gunned down right in front of the fashion district you know they had they had to be a lot of money involved in this or, or just a really big hit that was planned. Um, when you're in that so-called life, now you have people that have money. You know, not, on, not, not only is the gangs involved, but it's money also. And they, and they put a... They put bounty on you. They put bounties on your head, and they they said that he had a million dollar bounty on his head. So, you know, and it all started, I guess, with a song that he made that was called "Dead Bitches," that was disrespecting one of the kids that got you know murdered from the other group that he was fighting. FBG Ducks is a gangster disciple, or was a gangster disciple. Uh, if you if you guys have watched my uh, gang life you know series, gangster disciples at one time was one of the biggest mobs you know and uh, around the African Americans and then it, it actually broke off into uh, more BDs, new breeds. It, it broke off into a lot of other gangs that you know to this day, like I said, they are fighting each other. They're fighting each other and then they go to prison and have to sit with each other. So that's, to me, that's that's crazy. It's like me fighting a bunch of Latin kings on the street, killing each other, gunning each other down. But then when I get to prison for that life sentence that I just got for gunning this person down, now I got to sit down and be friends with them. It, that This is, it's crazy. It's insane. It's stupid. 
And I hate to say it, it's a waste of fucking time, blood and effort. I mean, come on, man. Eventually, you're going to have to sit down with this dude in prison and you're going to have to break bread with him. So what are you guys fighting about? What are you fighting about a block, a corner that is it's not there? I get it. I get it. I did it before. I lived that life. I get it. You know, uh, it's it's more than just a lifestyle. It's where you grew up. It's the respect. It's, it's, it's a lot of things. I get it. But there comes a time and day where you actually have to grow up and actually see that this is nonsense, it's chaos, and it's just plain dumb, a waste of time. I fought for years with a gang, and, you know, at the end, they tried to kill me, and I ended up flipping to another gang, but that's another, that's uh, Friday's video. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many people asking me, well, I thought you were an SD. Well, now you're a Land King, so what's the, what's the story? I, on Friday, I'll tell you guys how I grew up, how it was that I went from a Saint Disciple, original 59th Street, to a Land King from 25th and Trumbull. I'll tell you the story. I've had little pieces here and there in my videos, but I'll tell you the full story. Doug got shot three times. And like I said, in this area where they don't see this kind of stuff. So you you best you best believe that there was a lot of people running for their lives and you know trying to get out of there. A lot of a lot of white people. <laughs> but um you know, uh, he tr he tried to actually return fire, but he had an extended clip that made his gun jammed and this is why back in my day, I was really, really big on revolvers because, uh, I mean, I've, I've used everything from a Glock to a 9 to a Tech 9, and every time it would jam. The bullet would get caught, it would jam, and it's right when you need it the most that it jams. And this is why I was so big on revolvers, man. They don't jam, and uh, yeah. But it jammed on him. He couldn't return fire. And, you know, he ended up, you know, um, being killed. And, you know, it's sad because on the last interviews, his last little interviews that he had made, he was actually considering, you know, calling truth with his rivals and, you know, putting it all down and, you know, stopping the nonsense. And this is how crazy it is in Chicago. Right after they killed him, the cops already knew what was going to happen. So they put out a dozen cars out on King's Drive up and down so they could stop the retaliation because that's how it is man back home I, I it's crazy because nowadays a lot of these kids younger the younger generation I want I don't want to say kids younger generation the reason why they're getting like smoked a lot and I'm gonna be completely honest is because they're setting up their locations on their snapchat Instagram all these places and then they're sitting there like talking you know crap and the location shows, like, it, it actually tells you where you're at, like, what block, everything. It's, it's crazy. Like, I get paranoid sometimes, and I'll turn off my locations because I'd be like, man, it's some people. It's some people following me. But these kids are stalking, talking crap, giving locations. And, you know, one of the, um, one of the kids from 59th Street actually got smoked like that by a saint because he gave him a location and they ran up on him through the gangway and, and killed him. But at the end of the day, guys, I say this and I stress it so much. Why are we fighting? Why? For a block that doesn't belong to us? For colors that have been there since day one? And then to top it off, after we fight and we kill each other, we go to prison and sit on the same table and kick the bubbles with each other. So why are we doing this? Is it for power, respect, money? Yeah, I get it. You know, I, I lived that life for a very long time, but this is why I make these videos because I was lost. It was all a lie. All a lie. All the movies, all the gangster movies, all show you one side of the coin. Do not show you the other side. And the other side is years and years of incarceration. Your mom, your family crying, your sisters, you not being home. Your kids being raised by other people that you're not around. Your kids being depressed. 
wanting to commit suicide because you have not been in their lives and you have other people hurting them, other people raising them, other people doing stuff to them. You know what I mean, man. It, 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 is, it is time to really be honest with yourself and really, really come to the conclusion and say that all that gang stuff, all that neighborhood stuff is for nothing. In Chicago, the sit, the murder rate is up 152%. It, had, it was already up there. Now it's even higher because there is no control. It is completely chaos out there right now. There is no leaders. There is there's sections of the same gang fighting each other. The GDs, the BDs are going at it. This was unheard back in my day, especially in the African-American gangs because they were so organized and they had so much love for each other. Like if you were a, a, a disciple, you were a disciple. It, doesn't mean, it didn't mean shit like if you're a black gangster disciple, if you're a gangster disciple, new breed. It didn't mean nothing at all. They were all united. They were all together. Now it is chaos. It is falling apart. And that's the thing is that in the rap game, we don't have too many rappers from the South Side in Chicago. I mean, just alone Chicago in the game right now. You know why? Because we're steady killing each other. And that's the thing. The day that we wake up and that we see that this was all for nothing, you guys will see, man. And it's going it's to be too late. It's going to be too late if you guys don't wake up and see that now. I spent 17 years of my life and then I wondered why in prison I had to like be friends with these people that I was fighting on the streets. You don't even, you can't even stand each other, you don't like each other, but then in prison you have to sit down and eat with them and actually ride together to fight off the other ones that you weren't fighting on the streets. It's crazy. It's crazy, but it is what it is, man. Uh, FBG Ducks, rest in peace, brother. You know, I hope, I hope that this could actually turn out to be something positive in, in your neighborhood with, you know, the fights that you guys got going on. There's been too many murders on both sides of those streets. Please, please, if there is somebody that's in charge, please step up, be a real leader, call peace, let these kids bury each other and, you know what I'm saying? Let's make Chicago shine again, guys. My name is JC. I am Wrong to Strong. Don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. And remember, live savage. If you have... If you have... You only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. I'll check you guys on the rebound.